we have to evaluate the given limit and first we're gonna simplify simplify our function. So we take out x squared in the in the, uh, in the numerator, so it's gonna be square root of x squared times one plus one over x squared. And in the denominator, we take out x, so that's gonna be x times one over x and plus one. And therefore, we get the limit as x approaches infinity. When we take out x squared out of the root, we get absolute value of x and multiply by square root of 1 plus 1 over x squared and in the denominator we have x times 1 plus 1 over x so as x approaches tends to infinity therefore absolute value of x equals x so we get x times square root of 1 plus 1 over x squared over x times 1 plus 1 over x so we cancel out x and we get the limit as x approaches infinity of square root of 1 plus 1 over x squared and over 1 plus 1 over x so now we apply a limit and we substitute x by infinity and we get square root of 1 plus when we divide 1, one by infinity we get 0 and the same we have in the denominator, so that's 1 plus 0. Therefore, that's going to be 1 over 1, or just 1. So that's the value of the given limit.